Recently, we've seen a lot of movies, you know, Quartet, uh, The Best Exotic Mary Gold Hotel, uh, Away From Her, that really talk about the Zoomer generation, talk about retirement homes, talk about issues as, as we age. Um, and I think Hollywood is doing this boomer generation a disservice by not focusing more on, uh, on this audience. We know that in Britain, for example, 36% of the theatre going public are, are boomers and zoomers. The most powerful thing that I realized is that everybody's having sex and there's not a time that you stop having sex. There's not a time that you stop being interested in sex. Um, I actually think a lot of people come into their own in a completely different way. When you hit the point where your kids are getting older, where you are more secure in your job, who you are, actually that's the most important point, you're more secure in who you are. I don't think that you have good sex until you're comfortable with yourself. So maybe you have early changes in your memory. Is there something you can do to keep yourself from continuing to decline? The science thus far, and it's still really in budding stages, is to try to optimize the function that you still have that help with cognitive reserves. So these range from what you're eating in your diet right on up to what you're doing in your free time. I love distributing look of the day because, I mean, for the most part, um, because it's street style and everyone thinks that the street style is just, again, a youth-driven thing, all the posers are out, or if you're an editor and you're dressed head to toe. In the meantime, they're wearing what they're wearing so well and they know how to put their stuff together and they're well-groomed and, and yeah, like, you know, yeah, they have gray hair or yeah, they have wrinkles, but those are the things that make them who they are and it's just the way that they carry themselves when they walk down that street. I have been on a photography safari in Venice. Think about that. First of all, my mode of transportation, the Vaporettas. The teachers in the morning would tell us, we want you to report on this, that, and the next thing. And I'd go out with my camera for the full afternoon and come back, show the teacher my results, and be able to discuss where I was going. I'm experiencing. What we are seeing with boomer women in particular, um, you're seeing a lot of women who have had very successful careers, um, have decided to get out of the corporate track and open their own businesses. There was a study done last year by Ogilvy and Mindshare where 70% of the new businesses are actually opened by boomer women. The boomer generation has always been at the forefront of technology going back to the PC days, starting with the late Steve Jobs and Bill Gates with the early days of the PC. And it hasn't changed in the last few decades. It's just this sort of perception that the boomer demographic is behind in technology, but what the research shows is that they prefer to use technology when it's bug-free, when actually it's functional. And that's the 45-plus crowd who actually want to use technology that works and they can afford the technology. One of the problems with the American Constitution is life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So they made happiness into a goal rather than a byproduct. So happiness comes from doing things you love, being places you love, and being with people you love, but there isn't a sort of pure essence of happiness that's, that's detachable from everything else. Because of the road to get there, you, uh, you're confident with what you find when you look inside.